Okay, this is my annual uh, air conditioning uh, tutorial on uh, what it costs for you to operate your AC. And this is actual costs, what it cost me to run my air conditioner. Uh, depending on how you came across this video, if you came across this video via, via uh, YouTube, you're going to want to uh, go to my website at uh go to my website www.austinairco.com this page will pop up this is my uh, home page so what you want to do is you want to scroll over to the air conditioning tips tab and then scroll down this is like if you come across the video uh, uh, in YouTube or some other means you know where there's not any text or anything it gives you a better understanding of what's going on you can click on uh, the my utility bill was so-and-so a month or something along the lines on how to calculate your air conditioning costs you know because that's this page is probably going to change somewhat but that's basically uh, the gist of it I also have another year's worth back down in here. It goes into the understanding of how you can save uh, $10,000, you know, based on recouping uh, energy savings. Uh, you know, just you can look at all this information here. Scroll down. There's a button here to where you click on a go for proof, and it has an animation down here at the bottom that uh, shows you uh, my house and you know the stuff that I've done uh, how old my house is you know it gives you an understanding that you know just because your house is old doesn't mean you can't fix it uh, you know and this figure has changed I'm probably closer to probably 98 99 percent there's still a few things yet that I need to do but most part and it just uh, goes into further explanation so with that said, uh, we'll flip back over here uh, and start going through these clips. This is uh, current uh, my current provider, Tri Eagle Energy. As I've said in years past, I don't necessarily endorse one utility company over another. You know, just try to get the best rate you can and and uh, and go with go with them. Uh, as you'll see, this is a partial month for me. This was the initial startup of uh, being with Tri Eagle and uh, this is just a reference bill uh, we're not going to use it um, and just to show you you know what my costs were and I am on electric heat so uh, there's no way that I can cheat this you know it is what it is uh, this is uh, February as you can see 5674 it's not a bill we're going to use 4897 this was March uh, March's bill now this is a bill that we're going to use uh, 4275 uh, notice that uh, this is my lowest bill obviously uh, we use 389 kilowatt hours total cost or average uh, per kilowatt was 11 cents that's going to go into the figure that you'll see as I go through this uh, you know the figure that I use uh, to uh, just you know compare this is uh, May's bill just another reference bill uh, for you to look at I'm gonna click through these fairly quick because I'm trying to keep this video length down uh, this is uh, June's bill this is July's bill now this one is somewhat of reference this is my actual actually my second highest bill and the main reason why I want to bring that to light is because I want to, for efficiency reasons, uh, just, you know, something to keep in note, 6588. Uh, this is the bill that we're going to use. We're going to take this 7319 and we're going to subtract it from that 4275 figure. That's going to give me my air conditioning cost because during that April bill, it's likely that I didn't run the air conditioner probably at all, you know. And so that's the whole reason, purpose behind it. Now, if you if you live at a house that you have a swimming pool that runs in the summer times off in the winter, you know, then you know you have to compensate for that. Otherwise, you're going to skew the number. 
You know, this isn't about trying to skew it. This isn't a scam trying to make things fictitious or, you know, anything along those lines. You know, I'm trying to be as accurate as possible, but I'm not trying to make it complicated either. I'm trying to make it as simple as possible so that way everyone understands it. Uh, my average for this month was 10.7 cents per kilowatt hour. Uh, those figures will go into uh, our calculation as long with what I use because I'm going to use that as a comparison from previous years. So we'll flip through here pretty quick. Uh, this is our September bill. It's a bill just for reference. I'm not, you know, I'm just showing it to you just so you see, you know, how I selected the bills. This is the uh, October bill. You can still see that there was some air conditioning usage during this month. You know, it was still warm. So, you know, but, you know, we don't, we're not, we're not counting this bill. Uh, this is our uh, November bill. <clears throat> and this is our December bill. So, you know, those are just, just for references, nothing that we're going to use. So basically what we do in order to find our air conditioning uh, usage, we take our August bill, which was 7319. We take our April bill, which is 4275, and we subtract. This gives us a total of $30.44. Now you can take this a step further and you can take the July bill. We can take 6588 minus the 4275. We come with we come up with a total of $23.13. That was our second highest month. And so just for efficiency reasons, we're going we're gonna to use those, uh, those two. And then we're going to plug it into this chart. And uh, basically, you know, it's an understanding that this is for the Houston area, first off. You know, if you live in a different area, your cooling hours are going to be different. Those cooling hours are figured into this tally as to what it costs you to run it. Our AC months is seven months out of the year. Uh, this is a 75 degree set point. So if you set it, if you set your thermostat higher than 75, then, you know, you're, you're skewing, you're skewing the, the number, you know. So, you know, my average utility rate was 10, uh, 10.9 cents. And that's what I use to figure in to find out what my SEER rating is. Now, if you watch previous years, you'll know that my, my outdoor equipment is rated as 18 SEER. So without any extra things added on, I should be paying $69 a month just for air conditioning. That's based at my, at my basic rating. Now, another means of using this chart is, is that if you don't know what rating your current system is, I can basically tell you what the efficiency is based on your use, based on your usage. Now, obviously, like I said, you know, if you don't run it at a 75 degree set point, it's going to be skewed one way or the other, either up or down. You know, this is all about getting comfort and trying to pay the least amount of money for it. That's what this is all about and, you know, educational purposes, so on and so forth. So with that said, uh, let's look for the, the high bill minus the low bill. This is my August bill. Uh, the total was $30.44. And we cycle through here to find that $30, that $30 price point. And then we follow it up. Here is where the SEER ratings are. So on this particular month, my unit was running as a 41 SEER based on my own operational costs. So, you know, and basically how I achieve this, if you watch previous years, is I have what's called an air conditioning zoned system. In other words, each part of my house is zoned to where I can operate the operate the air conditioner in the zone I'm in and you know and have it off have it set up higher however I want to run it I can run it that way and cut costs basically by only cooling the the portion of the house that I'm in you know I've got zoning videos on my website you can watch those and you can get a better understanding of, of what a zone system is now if you Take the July bill, which was sixty-five eighty-eight minus the forty-two seventy-five. We've got a total of twenty-three dollars thirteen cents. So let's just see if we can find twenty-three dollars and thirteen cents and see what the rating is. Uh, we're probably somewhere right around a fifty-two and a half sear because 
it's more than 23, but it's less than 24. So, so you know, which is well within range of the efficiency ratings of previous years. So that's just basically to give you an understanding of that this is based on my cost, you know, and how energy efficient my system is operating at. So with that said, uh, we'll go back over here to the next chart. Okay, this is a previous year comparison. This is basically to show you that one of the ways that you can cut costs is just change utility companies. Get a better utility rate. You can see my utility rate went down. Uh, and so naturally, you know, your costs are going to come down just by changing utility companies. Just realize that most you know, utility companies, you're going to only get, get probably a year, maybe two year contract. And... Um, so you're always going to be held captive if you know if you've got an air conditioner that just sucks juice like it's going out of style, uh, then you're always going to be held captive based on what the rates are. You know, rates fluctuate; they go up, they go down. Uh, but this is just a comparison to show, you know, how much less I'm paying at a reduced at a reduced rate. Now, obviously, you know, I'm more about trying to be comfortable now I mean you know trying to save a few nickels few dollars you know I'm more interested in being more comfortable so you know I mean when you've got low costs you know some of the lowest costs that I've got um, you know it is what it is you know uh, and so you know you can see that uh, the average AC cost, it cost me $33.09 in 2013. That was operational cost. That's what it cost me to cool the areas of the house that I want cool um, versus $30.44 in 2014. So, you know, and while the price dropped probably, probably right around 30%, maybe a little bit, a little bit more than that, uh, the, the bill did drop 30%. You know, and it's basically because I was more, I was more interested in being comfortable. But if you go to my second highest cost, it was like twenty three dollars. So, you know, savings of seven dollars versus being comfortable. You know, yeah, it's whatever you want. You know, but that's basically the gist of it. So the biggest changes I made in two thousand fourteen, and you'll uh, you'll we've already discussed this change utility company. You know I don't endorse one utility company over another. You know it's just try to find the best best rate you can and 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 go with it. Uh, I converted ninety percent of my home to LED lighting. LED lighting is new; it's still infant. Uh, LED stands for light emitting diode. Uh, this isn't flu fluorescent. Fluorescent is, you know, typically what people recommend. I've been with fluorescent since 1991, um, but given the strides in LED, uh, I decided to make the switch, and so that's why my usage has gone down, or what I suspect. But, anyways, uh, those were the changes made in 2014. Nothing uh, monumental. So with that said, uh, that wraps up our uh, tutorial on how to calculate your air conditioning uh, costs and basically by showing my own personal air conditioning costs. Uh, if you live in the Katy, Cypress, Richmond, Texas areas, you can give us a call at 832-475-6895. My name is Ray Austin with Austin Air Company. Thank you for visiting with us today. Goodbye.